Jose Gomez coming to us by way of Child's Play MMA JR. And his opponent, as we referenced, Mr. Perez, coming out of the elevation fight team. Gomez, the fighter in the Muay Thai style trunks, and Perez, the fighter in the spandex style trunks. And uh, just watching these guys bounce around in the warm ups, energy for days. Days is right. Both guys very loose, very relaxed. Always something that we love to see out of young fighters, of course. Oh, and a beautiful right hand by wow. Perez. Right off the leg kick. What you know? a counter. They say it all the time. That's the counter to the leg kick is right down the corner with the right hand. As Michael Chevello would say right down the queue. Yeah, that's right, and that was textbook. <laughs> What, my imitation? <laughs> that too. <laughs> nice, nice leg kick right there from Jose Gomez. Lands almost knocks Perez off balance, but Miguel Perez doing a really nice job of starting to control the distance, control the cage, and press the action at the same time. Good job working the takedown, staying committed to it as Gomez... Perez has his feet under him nicely. Good spot on the cage against that pad. Yep. Going to walk himself up without, without having to cheese grater his back. And did. And looking to lock up the head and arm choke. Does not have the position that he needs in order to close that off is Gomez. So he's going to end up with the bottom once Perez is able to get his arm free. And uh, I have a feeling he's going to eat some punches. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> And immediately going to work with the ground and pound is Perez. Gomez looking for the rollout. Gets himself in a better position. Oh, big left hand lands for Perez. But Gomez does a beautiful job of isolating that arm. And immediately stepping over. Basically the only thing that he had to transition yeah. to there was the shoulder lock. And Perez, wise to it, steps over. But... Good wrestling skills put on display here by Gomez and basically by way of just sticking with it and continuing to go even right now with the head control, trying to pull him over but not able to do so. Nice hip pressure right now from Perez. As Gomez is looking to control Perez's posturing, but Perez lo loading up some shots right now from the top position and taking the back. And has his opponent oh stretched out. Great job working his hooks there to flatten Gomez. And Perez just going to work with the ground and pound. And a beautiful job of mixing his shots. Rights, lefts, under the arms, over the arms, going to the ear, going to the face. And referee Adam Martinez is in there telling the bottom fighter he's got to protect himself. But the 10-second clacker sounded. I think we're going to round two. Controlled the action, landed the harder shots. Absolutely. And more shots. <laughs> more shots always helps. <laughs> and you can see that Gomez has tasted the power because he's backing up almost immediately. But, man, he is tough. He's a gamer in there. Trying to circle around the back control. And beautiful job by Gomez controlling the wrist, keeping for Perez from going to his back, standing there against the cage. JR, if you're, if, you're, um, if you're Jose Gomez right now, what are, you, uh, what are you looking to do right now with the kind of striker that you're dealing with in Perez? Initiate the clinch and try to crowd him. Try to be in so tight that even if he punches you, there's not enough power to it that it's going to cause any damage. And then start to work your dirty boxing and your wrestling game, try to put it to the mat. But you got to get that top position. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make this an ugly fight because um, Perez really has a very, very well-versed understanding of speed, timing, distance. And he seems to have that ability to almost predict where you're going to be. And there, there's an example right there again. Yeah, that was a great leg throw into punch pass there. You know, if I'm Gomez, I'm thinking stand up and get myself out of this position where Perez can just really unload. Yeah, Perez was able to sink the hooks, use the grapevines in order to flatten his opponent a couple of times, 
in round number one. And Gomez has to be wary of that and make sure that doesn't happen again. And going to work hard here with the ground and pound now is Perez. And again, just like you said earlier, mixing it underneath the arms as he's striking, both sides as he's striking, hammer fist mixing up with uppercuts. I mean, he's just really got a very, very finely tuned striking game here. About a minute left for Perez to work here. Referee starting to talk to the bottom fighter. And you know the top fighter hears that. Oh, and starting to oh. go for a leg lock. Good job by Gomez. Perez defends, but he's going to lose position here maybe. Depends on how the scramble plays out. And good job by Perez getting his back against the cage and working up again to standing one more time. And a good job of Gomez by doing exactly what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> But Gomez looks to be exhausted right here. Yeah, just it, it's difficult to explain, but getting punched saps your energy. Oh. In video games, that's why that lifeline starts to drop down and your energy goes away every time you hit your opponent because that's what it's like in real life. The only thing that I don't want to see is, of course, is when fighters get tired, they leave that chin way up in the air. And I just saw that twice right there from Gomez. <laughs> That'll do it for the second. Mike, see what he can do from the top. Yeah, 100% agreed. And we're going to get that opportunity right now in this third and final round of Paramount 7, the cage on the stage at the beautiful Paramount Theater in Denver, Colorado. And the corner of Perez saying, show him the speed, show him the speed. Oh. See if he does so, steps in with the power right hand. So much for speed, just crack him with a sledgehammer. Jeez Louise. And he's catching him with that momentum, too. As, as Gomez is coming in, Perez is landing that shot and driving back Gomez. And But Gomez, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I love the commitment to this kid's takedown game. He is relentless with that takedown game. Trying to work it, but Perez getting those hips back, sprawl her hips down, feet back, sprawling deep. Get that head up, son. There you go. <laughs> but real masterful job of hips right now we're seeing from Miguel Perez. Yeah, it really is. And good job with his leg strength, too, and making sure that he doesn't let that left leg get sucked in until he wants to be in close like he is right now. Basically, he's letting that single leg attempt turn into a back take. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, if Gomez lets go of that leg, Perez is going to be in a great position for an arm bar or a reverse triangle. Perez not able to sneak that right hook in yet, trying to thread it through. There it is, now he might try to set up the arm bar. Good job by Gomez, continuing to pressure forward, keeping a hold of that ankle. If he lets go of that leg, he's gonna be in some, some difficulty. Corner of Perez telling him they want him to maintain that back control, but again, we see the scrambling abilities of Gomez keeping him safe. Yep, absolutely right. Wanted to transition him out there, did Perez. Gomez wise to it, brings the knee in, shuts that down, but good positioning for Perez. Really good. A lot of yep. options from side control. Yep. That was Randy Couture's favorite position. About 30 seconds left in the fight in the corner of Perez saying they want him to get some posture. That means they want him to create distance and get some really powerful strikes in here at the end of this fight. Gomez, Gomez going to have to get a finish yeah, here. Yeah. And, Covering uh, up here yeah, really and just yeah, kind of trying to survive, you know, for that last 10 yeah, seconds. He's, he's not in a good position for a finish. That's... That's for sure. But kudos to Miguel Perez for, for really keeping that pressure on that entire fight the way he did. Yeah. 